Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for October. This is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. If this reading makes you confused, it's not for you. If you don't believe in tarot, it's not for you. Um, yeah, so this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start with this one. This is the Grand Lux deck. I don't know where my box is. I have a new deck that I'm going to use for clarifiers. The box is right there. You're going to see that deck in a minute. Oh, well, Taurus, here you are. Okay, so it's about believing in yourself and listening to your inner guide at this time. Really following your own path and listening, trusting, trust, trust, trust. It's about faith and trust in yourself, okay? You may be um, seeking guidance. You may be receiving guidance. So really pay attention to the signs at this time because you are, you know, you're receiving messages, so pay attention. Oh, strength. So let's just get some more cards. Hmm. Whew. So, we have a transformation here that is happening. A transformation. Maybe this transformation has been stalled because somebody didn't find the strength or didn't have the strength to allow it. But it looks as though somebody in this situation has found the courage, has found the courage to really believe and listen. You know, I'm going to go with what I think. I'm listening. I'm listening. It's time. It's time to stop stalling. It's time to stop going backwards and allow this to end. The strength to release and perhaps that's what you've been hearing. Mm. Yeah, somebody has been reluctant to move on from something. Seriously, going backwards. <laughs> but it feels like, okay, yeah. You have been. You've been holding on to something, right? You have. But it's like the decision has been made now, right? Something has happened. Something has happened to, to, to allow you to stand firm and believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your decision and make that decision. Somebody was lacking the willpower and the discipline. To let go, to drop, okay? And it's been really heavy to the point of maybe causing some sort of serious pain, okay? Why? Why carry it for so long where you get to the point where you can't even get back up? Drop it. It's too heavy. It is too heavy. You don't you don't even why? Why take on that much? Why do it? Why? Especially when it's bringing you backwards. You can't reach your destination with all of this baggage. You cannot. Mmm, give some crow. This is release, the nine of wands reversed. 
there ain't another thing that you can do to control a situation that you have been holding on to. Somebody's been trying to control the outcome by holding on and sticking it out, thinking if I wait forever, it will come around. It's not coming around. Your victory and success comes when you start listening, when you start believing in yourself, and you make a firm decision. But there's no victory and success going backwards, carrying the past, carrying the burdens, carrying the heaviness with you trying to control it. If somebody's been trying to control an outcome that... is no longer fertile, okay? So it is, the, the overall outcome of, of this month is moving on, moving on. That's the overall outcome. That This is moving towards peace and harmony, moving towards victory and success, making that decision to go, go. Looks like we're pretty focused, eh? So it looks to me like somebody is is finally hopefully they've they've found their their own pride. You know, and sometimes pride is a good thing. With that chariot reversed right in the middle, that's the overall energy, okay? Lack of of willpower, lack of discipline, loss of self, okay, that chariot, unable to master your emotions, that's the overall energy for this month, and hopefully, I mean, you have the strength to overcome, to overcome those emotions, you have the, the you do, you have the willpower inside you, all you have to do is, is, is pull it out, to master your emotions and stop putting in effort into something that is a dead end because right now you are going through a transformation. This transformation that is happening, this transition that is happening is going to bring you victory, success, peace, and harmony. It's going to bring you to a better place. It is. But you have to find the strength to allow it and believe that this is what needs to happen. So we're going to do some clarifiers, but we're going to use this deck, which is noted right there. New Era Elements Tarot. So, I want to know what this King of Swords is. That's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Taurus as the Hierophant. We have Leo as Strength. We have Chariot as Cancer, which is reversed. We have Death, which is Scorpio. Um, and that's what I see here. Either way, I think that somebody is finding the confidence, okay? There's a lot of confidence that is, I mean, these are both cards of confidence. Finding the confidence to stand firm in a decision. To believe, to follow your own path. Now, here we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it's reversed. You know, it's like there's a lack of love. There's a lack of relationship growth. There's a lack of, or wanting more, you know. Somebody somebody came in and probably tried to, or they swept you off your feet. That's what this is. They swept you off your feet with all kinds of words and no action. Action speaks louder than words, but this, this person was had no follow through. And, and now... You have to find the strength to stop holding on to that, whatever it is. Um, to cut this person out. You see, there's a sword and a sword. Yeah, to cut this person out that had no real love. Even though they speak words of love, there's no action in that. Words are one thing. Oh, goodness. There you are. You know, you know better. You know better. You do know better. Look at the wisdom. Look at the wisdom in her face. 
You know who I'm talking about. You know what this is. You know you have to be realistic here. Whatever has happened has made you wiser. There was a relation, two of cups reversed, a relationship that was false love. False love. And you know it. You know it. And now... <laughs> And now it's time for your new beginning, okay? It is, it, it is. The, the, the wisdom and the pain that you have endured has made you into a more beautiful person, okay? Now you're all over in this reading, Taurus. Taurus, 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 okay? You're here, you're here, you're, you're, you're here and present, okay? Presently, you are at a spot of beauty. And everybody can see it. They can see the wisdom and they can see your beauty. There's only actually one person that, that, that probably can't see it. Okay, there's one person that can't see it. You too. It's you. You have to quickly, 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 quickly love yourself. Open your heart. Listen to your intuition and follow your dreams. So I feel as though there is somebody, there's somebody that is interested in you, okay? This is the Page of Cups. There is somebody that is interested in, in you. There is somebody that sees your beauty. You may have closed yourself off to love. Yeah, that's what this is. You have closed yourself off to love. Because you, you're, you've, you're protecting yourself. Because you dealt with somebody who offered you false love. So you have probably made a decision. To not love. Even though you want love. think that there's an offer this is the page of cups somebody sees your beauty somebody sees your worth and you're afraid you're afraid to let that door open this is the two the two of wands reversed afraid <laughs> Maybe they're moving too fast. Somebody's moving fast. And you're like sitting here thinking about it, you know, like, hmm. I'm doing my own thing and I'm doing it quite well. I don't know if I need this. I don't, I don't, it's like you don't even see it. It's like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to play this game. It's like, I don't, I don't want to do this. Domination. Yeah, I don't want to be dominated. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I don't want to be dominated. Because this domination is reversed. You're in control and I want to keep it. I'm in control completely at this point. So I think that, that you're feeling quite abundant with who you are. Right where you're at. I'm abundant. 
you know, you notice these are two hands together. It's like, I'm not sure I want to play. Even though somebody is absolutely offering you something. Now this one says cruelty. It's the nine of swords reversed. Cruelty. I don't want to be treated like that. I don't want to be treated badly. It's like you've been ripped apart, you see? He's ripped apart. You have, and you're really afraid of being ripped apart again. Nice. <laughs> Somebody has treated you very, very, very badly by the looks of things. You've healed a lot. You've been working on yourself. You're feeling quite content. Somebody is offering you love and it's like, you know what? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm even interested in love. had to cover that up yeah okay success this is the six of pentacles getting what you deserve Putting yourself back on top, moving up. You guys are, are working on getting your lives back on track. 666. I'm working on bringing har harmony and peace back to my life at this time. I'm not sure that I want a relationship. I'm not sure. The pain has made you wise to love. You know? I think that you're going through a time of reevaluation. And this is a card of worth, and this is a card of worth as well. Evaluating your own worth. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Lack. It's like, I'm lacking the ability to get into a relationship at this time because I don't really want any false commitments. I don't want any false love. I'd rather just take care of myself. So, I think that you are receiving an offer from somebody with this page of cups, messages of love. And you're like, no, no, this isn't what I want. I'm not looking for that at this time. I'm still healing. I'm still working on me. And I haven't gained the peace and harmony to accept a new offer at this time. So you guys are going through a transformation, a big one, and it's about letting go of the need to control, it's about going with the flow, it's about finding your self-worth, it's about working on you, it's about working, I think that you guys are working on your health, you're working on your um, trusting yourself, following your own path. 
and letting go of the need to control. And the emperor on the bottom. And I feel like that right now you're just trying to gain structure in your life. And I think anybody that comes in with offers of love, you may be like, eh, nah, no thank you. I'm not interested. I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on my, my job, my money, my home, everything but love at this time because I'm just not ready. I, I really see that you guys are working on getting your life back on track. You're working on your own peace and harmony. That's what this is. So I can't tell you. I mean, you, some of you may accept an offer, but I don't think it doesn't look like it. It really doesn't. I think there's somebody here that is making an offer, but it doesn't look like it's going to be accepted because I don't think you're, I don't, I don't. I don't think you're ready. I don't. I don't. It's not what you're looking for. You have a, a king of swords here. Um, that may have hurt you really bad. Or the cups. The, so it's a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be any other sign as well. But that's what I see that has done the damage. The damage has been done. And we're going through a period of, of healing. Could be a Leo as well. Um, but I think that it's a period of reevaluation. Who, what, when, where. You may receive an offer, but I think it's a it's not practical. You know, it's like No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to open this door and, and be in a partnership at this time. That's what I see. Because both of these twos are partnerships, they're both reversed. You know, and I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see you accepting any offer. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Overcoming obstacles. And this is what's going on here. Right now, it's, it's a time of, of healing and introspection. Even though that card it didn't come up, it's what it is. It's like I'm, I'm trying to figure out where the hell I'm going. Thank you very much. I really don't need any of this shit. You can overcome anything. There may be a blockage in your life or one ahead. However, you absolutely, you absolutely have all the inner resources you need, not just to overcome the difficulty, but also to thrive as a result. No matter what the obstacle is, you are amassing your inner strength to step beyond it. If there is a dream that you desire that has eluded you, Know that you have all the inner skills to move beyond any blockages preventing you from achieving this goal. Use any obstacle as a stepping stone to great achievements and its success in your life. When the traveler encounters an obstacle on the path, the traveler understands that there are many ways to go beyond it. All you need is within you now. All the assets that you require to overcome this challenge are available to you. If you have blocked, if you are blocked on one path, find another. This is a powerful time of developing your inner strength and fortitude. When you look back, you'll find that many inner gifts developed during this time. Those last two sentences go with these two cards. I'm going to read it again. This is a powerful time of developing your inner strength and fortitude. When you look back, you'll find that many inner gifts developed during this time. I mean, they always play out perfectly. That's what this is about this month of October. It's about you. That's what I see. Talk to you next time.